Hello everybody, it is your friendly neighborhood Necro Badger here. Uh, so, just downloaded Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Came out a couple hours ago. Uh, decided I'd give it a try. Honestly, I didn't play Five Nights at Freddy's 2 because by the time I had the actual money to spend on video games, I had already seen every last bit of it, so this should be pretty enjoyable. Uh, I'm guessing that thing in the background is the new animatronic, and it looks fucking horrifying. So let's give this a shot. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like an amusement park based on the fucking murders in the old one. I'm sorry, mysteries. First night, okay. This should be a breeze if it's like the first one. Um, can I? Oh, okay. Wasn't hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, no, some great new there. relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a That's new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick. Then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week. So we had to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite the end of the building Hi. and work their way toward oh. you and past you and out the end. Uh, yeah, you've officially become saying? part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! Oh. So not only will you be monitoring okay. the people on the camera as they pass thing? through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes like out mask. in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, okay. always nice, and a foxy head, which we think is uh, authentic. Still there. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, okay. uh, right now the place is basically hey, just, drink. you know, Flashing lights and spooky props. Uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit this you up so in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, Oh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, so cool. something like that. Fence. So we're going to take a peek and see what okay. we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall I cam and the out, bro. cam. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone oh, it a so bit. You can't exit while you're doing Some of this equipment that. is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That's, that's, that's a real risk. Wait, what the did most say important about fire? thing Shit. you want to watch for is the listening. ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off wide, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Okay. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Those buttons. God, this place is even freakier. Damn. I was expecting him to put in, like, a bunch of fucking Easter eggs in this one. Because from the sounds of it, this is going to be the last one. I don't know how they... Well, maybe they could do another one in, like, the very first uh, restaurant, but... Past that, I can't see it. Actually, like... What the fuck? Oh, this is gonna be a jump scare. Yeah, it says to collect six balloons, but there's only... There's only three left, and I need to collect four. I bet I'm gonna be the last one that, like, kills me. Oh. Well, never mind. What did that do? Oh. Well, 
Well, that's unfortunate. Huh. So... Oh, well, actually, that makes sense, because... You can actually reset the night by doing that. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I kind of wish I had known that so I didn't waste the first night, but... <sighs> that Freddy is creepy as fuck. Can I click on his nose? No. How about these ones? Nope. Just that. Okay, well... night is actually pretty boring. Kind of afraid to look for more Easter eggs, because I don't want to waste all that time on night one again. Does anything happen night one? Like, I have yet to see anything yet. Wait, was that something? No, that's just... Something on the side. Got fucking Freddy Fazbear sitting there blinking. Night one is just kind of a gimme. Which actually, he did say something about figuring things out on night one, so I guess that would make sense. I don't know though. I mean, I'm kind of falling into the thing where, like, if you'll notice boring parts of games, usually make for boring commentaries, which, I mean, I could just tell a story or something, but I don't really feel like doing that, honestly. Well, actually, here's a story. Uh, once upon a time, a mouse put on some shoes. There we go. How's that? That work as a story? No? Well, too bad. Go fuck yourself. God, these cameras are shit. I mean, I understand in the game world it's to make it more spooky, but... You'd think they could afford slightly better cameras. Anybody scaring me yet? No? Okay, well... It's already 5 a.m. Oh, there we go. Okay. the bad person. So we're not going to follow Bonnie. We're going to go the exact opposite way. And if Bonnie doesn't like it, she can suck it. C 
L I C K. No wait, B B D B one C L I C K. Okay. Shit, I'm gonna write that down. That might be important actually. see if that's good. Let's see if that's something important. Can I go in here? No? Guess I have to follow him. Okay. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! The fucking 8 bit game is scary! Okay. What was that? What did it say? BBDB1 click. Hey, man, okay. I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like do historic. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. Okay, so well, I thought we could like have them playing it's getting like kind of over long, the oh, ventilation and walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes us feel legit, man. But I have an Let's even better that. surprise for you. And you're not Actually, gonna believe Actually, I think I'm gonna finish this in the next video. One. A real one. Oh, uh, 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 gotta go, man. What is that? Uh, well, well, look, it, it's in there somewhere. Yeah. I, I'm sure you'll I think see I'm gonna finish it. this okay. in the next I'll video. I'll leave you some of this great audio so, that I found. Uh, Talk to you later, man. If you like the video, Despite hello, my whole hello, hello. Mic, uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much-needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now, 